we are assessing extension here and reproduce our patient's pain at the base of the neck. We will now assess the position and symmetry of T1 here first of all and then C7 by placing the thumbs two centimeters either side of the spinous processes. It is deemed here that the left transverse process is more prominent on the left side as you can see here in the more skeletal view. So if this is the assessment that C7 is actually rotated to the left. MET is an ideal tool to restore symmetry to these joints. We will need to monitor the position however of the spinous processes of T1 and here at C7. Now, by doing that we will take the head and will gently assist the patient to take up any gentle slack in flexion just to the point where C7 moves but T1 doesn't. And here we are in the same position in the live model. And then we'll add lateral flexion such that C7 moves but T1 doesn't. Then we'll assist in rotation only to the point where C7 moves but T1 doesn't. At that point we're going to ask our patient to attempt to return to the starting position. A nice easy 10% contraction at around 6 to 8 seconds. Repeat the sequence for a second time. So flexion such that C7 moves but T1 doesn't. Lateral flexion such that C7 moves but T1 doesn't. And then rotation such that C7 just moves but T1 doesn't. At that point again asking a patient to return or attempt to return to the starting position. A nice easy contraction 10% effort, 6 to 8 seconds, deep breath in and relax. And now for a third time, into flexion, into lateral flexion and into rotation. At that point we stop. The last step now in our sequence. We need to stabilise the transverse process of T1 because actually it is in an ideal position. Having stabilised that with our thumb, what we'll do is gently resist our patient while she returns back to the starting position in a through range active movement. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Once we've done that we'll reassess the position of C7 and T1. Looks good. Let's reassess extension now and range of motion is increased, pain is reduced.